Hey guys, JD here with the Kawasaki Ultra 310, and today I'm going to show you an awesome new product from Kawi Performance. This is a Kawi Performance fuel pressure tester and is designed to allow you to easily and quickly test the fuel pressure on your Kawasaki or Yamaha personal watercraft. So I've talked to a lot of guys that they email me, they say, hey, I'm having issues with my ski. I say, hey, what's your fuel pressure? They say, well, I don't know. I say, well, ask your dealer to test it. They say, oh, the dealer can't do it. For under $40, you can get yourself this testing tool from Cowie Performance. Again, nothing like this available. The OEM tools are hundreds of dollars. This is, and this has got a lead long enough to allow you to keep this up by your handlebars while you're testing your fuel. So right now I'm going to show you how to get this installed and how to check your fuel pressure. So on the Kawasaki Ultra 310, this is your connection to the fuel rail right here. I have this upgraded Cowie Performance stainless steel block here. You might have the factory plastic one, but they disconnect the same way. And for your naturally aspirated Kawasaki four strokes, the process is exactly the same. So this Cowie Performance gauge also fits on the Yamaha SVHO and HO engines. It's very easy. Here's your, here's your fuel rail damper. This clip is exactly the same as the Kawasaki clip that I showed in the video. It's just green instead of red. So before we get to that, we're first going to remove the gas cap. This is to vent any excess pressure that may be in the system. So then you're going to take two fingers, one on either side, and you're going to put them on either side of this connector here. And then you're just going to pop up those tabs and pop it up right like that. And then you can use your thumbs like this. Do not push it by the clip, but push it by the body. And we're going to pull that fuel rail off. You're going to need two fingers. And I'm going to try to get the angle just right here. I might block it a little bit. So sorry if I block that a little, but you pop that clip up just like that. And then you want to use two fingers to push against this clip and another two fingers to work that damper off of the rail. And you'll see that there's some fuel that'll dribble out. We're now going to take our tester. And you can see this has got a brass quick connect fitting already. So we're going to insert that. I want to make sure it's fully seated and then we're going to push that plastic clip down check it there you go and then this lead here we're just going to reattach to our fuel rail connector all right so then we're going to take this we're going to slide it on just like that and then there you go you can see it goes in line just like that you can also attach this directly to the pump if you'd like it's just easier for me to shoot the video showing you on here but these quick connects are really easy to attach and you can attach them pretty much anywhere in the fuel system all right so here is our yamaha fuel fitting then here is the cowie performance gauge assembly the quick connect pops right in lock it in place and then you're not going to reattach that damper you're just going to put that to the side all right so then we're going to take this connector here and we're going to push that on to our fuel rail lock it in place and then i want to show you unlike some other tools i've seen available for sale this has a lead long enough to make it all the way up to your handlebars so you can route this you'll be able to hold this while you're running the ski to verify your, your fuel pressure and uh so now all we got to do is power up the ski and that's going to allow us to view our resting fuel pressure and then we'll fire up the engine and see what the pressure looks like while it's running Obviously, you want to test this in the water as well, um, especially if you're having continuing fuel issues that you suspect because you'll be able to see your pressure start to drop as that pump heats up. But I'm going to show you how to do an initial test here while the ski's on the trailer. While I will be demonstrating some fuel pressure testing in this video, always refer to your personal watercraft service manual to determine the exact fuel pressure that your machine should be operating at. So here I've got my key, and we're just going to insert the key and the system will power up and the fuel pump will come up to pressure right away. For right now, you can see that we're running just over 50 PSI on initial, initial power on. Okay, and that's where you should be. When you put that key in, you should be between 50 and 55 PSI right off the bat. So now let's fire the machine up and see what kind of pressure we hold while the machine is idling. Yeah. 
So you can see that for my machine, I have the Cowie Performance Aftermarket Fuel Pump Mod Kit. So you can see that I run uh, 60 PSI while my ski is idling. That is perfect for stage three. So now let's power on the FX SVHO and see what kind of fuel pressure we run on this machine. So you can see that it's very similar to the Cowie in terms of the initial fuel pressure. So at rest, the FX is running between, let's call it between 40 and 50 PSI, slightly less pressure than you'll see on a supercharged Kawasaki. But nevertheless, your reading should be uh, above 40 as you see here. Once we fire up the ski, this pressure will increase. So let's do that now and I'll give you a look at what that looks like. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you the pressure on the Yamaha FX SVHO with the engine at idle. Now let's take a look at the readings on this naturally aspirated Kawasaki. Insert the key. You don't have to have the lanyard on even. We're going to insert that key and the pressure will come up. You can see that on this naturally aspirated ski, it's slightly less than the pressure on the supercharged Kawasaki Ultra 310. Let's fire this up and see what our pressure comes up to. <laughs> Now, this will drop down over time, so don't worry. It's not going to hold that pressure overnight. You'll see this pressure start to drop. So my analysis of this would be that my fuel pump is functioning properly. But of course, if you're having issues, you want to get out on the water with this gauge. You want to run your ski hard. And when you start having that stuttering or you start having that loss of RPM, you want to look at this gauge. And if the gauge is showing solid fuel pressure, then you can rule out the pump as being your issue. But this will indicate, you know, if you have a blocked filter, if you have a blocked internal screen, if you have any type of fuel pump or uh, related issues, you will see a, a decrease in pressure. Or if you put your key in and the pressure doesn't go up fully, you know, that could be a problem with the internals of the fuel pump assembly uh, or the pump itself. So this is an incredible diagnostic tool. So if you do want to get this gauge off and you don't want to wait for the pressure to go down, I am going to show you a quick trick to bleed this pressure off. So we're gonna put these rags under the fuel rail. I, I do suggest you let it bleed down on its own, but if you're in a hurry and you gotta get it off, um, you know, you can see we're still at 20 PSI, so this will squirt a little bit. So we're gonna pop this connector up. So again, it is under pressure, okay? So you wanna kinda go like this. Move it very slowly. I don't know if you can hear that, but the pressure is bleeding off. Okay. There we go. You can see now we are no longer under pressure. I had my rag there. Don't let it squirt in your face or anything. You know, use a rag. You can see, you know, quite a bit squirted out there. Any four-stroke fuel-injected Kawasaki or Yamaha ski, this gauge kit fits on. And it's under $40. I mean, this is a no-brainer to me. I have begged Cowie Performance to come out with this for over a year now because I get so many emails from guys that I suspect are having fuel pump or fuel pressure related issues. So pick yourself up one of these. It's got just enough lead that you could view this at your handlebars if you wanted to route it. Most dealers don't even have a basic tool like this, which is unbelievable to me. But uh, pick yourself up one of these from Cowie Performance. This is an incredible quality made tool that everybody that owns a four-stroke Kawasaki or Yamaha should have in their toolbox. Cowie Performance is the premier Kawasaki aftermarket parts shop here in the United States. Cowie Performance, I've got their parts all over my machine from their cold air intake to their exhaust filter bypass. You can see all my hardware is stainless steel Cowie Performance hardware. I've got their automatic tensioner with stainless pulley. Their hardware is by far the best that there is in the world and really takes your Kawasaki to the next level by reducing maintenance and improving durability way over factory spec. So again, visit them online at kawiperformance.com. Pick yourself up one of these fuel pressure tester gauges. The link is in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.